Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sea Slurps and Mystery Mondays. Today we're gonna to be trying Asha Kuroki noodles, AKA Mandarin style noodles with silly spicy sauce. Now I've been seeing these in the grocery store over the past few months. I've been refraining from buying them because I have so many noodles I have to go through, but I was gifted to them by my wonderful fiance. Thanks babe. And I am so excited to try these. As you know, Asha is a Taiwanese brand, usually known for their nice, um, real style, like cut, hand cut noodles that are air dried, not fried, and it's a dry style noodle. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, we got our noodle block here and we have our accompanying sauce on the side. We're gonna go ahead and bring 400 ml of water to a boil and cook for four minutes drain completely and then add to your bowl or eat from the pot whatever you want to do and then add in your soy based sauce here and give it a bit of a mix you want to make sure all of those noodles are coated nicely with the sauce let's eat all right so this is the finished product let's go ahead and give it a try all right ash noodles here we go again so of course your standard dry noodle here comes with a wonderful sauce that to me is definitely more on the sesame side, sesame and soy, rather than a spicy version. Um, I actually don't really get any spice from this at all. It seems like it's completely mild. I don't taste any hint of spice or anything at all. So that is a little bit misleading. Yeah, the noodles are coated really nicely with that aroma oil that's already mixed in with the sauce. It's almost like a vinaigrette quite nice, uh, slippery, not as much clumping as I in previous Asha brands. And of course, the noodles here are the complete star. They feel like they are fresh handmade noodle, knife cut. It, everything feels just tighter, more chewier, got a good bite to it. I love these Asha noodles. They're so, so, so delicious. Of course, these noodles tend to foam up while cooking, and I find that is the case with all Asha noodles, so across the brand. So just be aware of that, don't walk away. Might need to turn down the heat or mix it vigorously so you don't get any spillage or overflow when you're cooking these noodles. Um, I'm really curious to try the other flavors as part of this Sanrio Friends, Sanrio Asha Moments collaboration. Um, hopefully they are not as misleading as these ones are with the title and the name of the noodle because I'm actually a little bit disappointed with them. Um, I love that they are air dried, not fried. It's also a plant-based noodle too. So again, if you are something that's more health conscious, you might want to consider this one. It's only 380 calories. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 3.75 out of 5. I love the flavor. I love the noodles. I just found it to be... Not spicy at all, I don't know where the spice was, or maybe our packet just came like with the wrong one. I'm not sure, but there was nothing at all in terms of spice. I really bought this again. Not something I particularly would crave every time, but great for those who love those nice dry noodles and love doctoring it up. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe in the links down below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell just at the top right hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see you for next week. Bye.